This token sticks to a magnet, and that means it's made primarily of one of three ferromagnetic metals, cobalt, iron, iron, or nickel. We can do a quick test to see if the token contains nickel. To do this, I'll first attach the token to a pair of steel tongs that have been magnetized. Next, I'll use a blowtorch to apply a liberal amount of energy. The idea of the test is the following. If the token contains mostly nickel, heating it to a temperature of 354 degrees Celsius will cause it to lose its magnetism. For you true patriots, that temperature is 627 Kelvin. Okay, let's get back to the test on the token. Well, it looks like I'm able to heat this for a pretty long time. In fact, it looks like the face is getting melted off of this thing. Oh, check it out, it's starting to glow an orange color. That tells me we're way above 354 degrees Celsius, probably closer to like 900 or 1,000 Celsius. Yep, sure looks like despite the liberal heating, this thing still has its magnetism. Well, that means this token doesn't contain any nickel, but it still could contain cobalt or iron. We're gonna run a chemical reaction on a fresh token to test between these two metals. The test simply involves adding nitric acid to the token. Whoa, that's cool. The nitric acid is causing a really interesting chemical reaction. An orange gas is being given off and the nitric acid solution has turned to a green color. I'm also seeing some waves of solid blue stuff forming on the face of the token. All of these observations are consistent with the token containing some copper. So the token is probably plated with a little bit of copper metal. Indeed, if you look carefully, you can see that the surface of the token has changed to the color of copper metal. Hey, let's continue to add nitric acid to the token to dissolve away the copper layer and see what's going on with the metal that's underneath. As the reaction continues, I'm seeing that the nitric acid solution has changed to a greenish brown color. I'm also seeing some oxidation on the surface of the token that looks, well, a lot like rust. All of this is good chemical evidence that the token consists primarily of metallic iron. So of the three possible ferromagnetic metals, cobalt, iron, and nickel, this token is comprised most likely of iron. Definitely not vanadium.